Welcome back to The Exchange. The 11th annual CNBC Disruptor 50 list released yesterday, highlighting private companies chasing some of the market's biggest opportunities. Today, we're taking a look at number 43 on the list, KindBody, valued at over $1.8 billion. The healthcare company on a mission to make fertility care more accessible and affordable. They've already partnered with over 112 companies, including a lot of notable names like Walmart. Here with more is KindBody founder and chair, Gina Bartesi. Gina, it's good to have you here. Welcome. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. So, so the this is such a huge market area. Um, the only thing I wonder is, you know, how much does it cost companies to kind of get involved in, and offer, you know, products in your space? Yeah, it depends if you buy direct through Kind Body or if you go through a middleman. Certainly, if you go through a middleman, you're going. It's like other insurance companies; they're going to charge you a margin could be as high as 23 percent. So when employers come to Kind Body, they save immediately off the top of 23% savings. The other thing we do to democratize care and make care more affordable for employers is utilize technology. So Kind Body is the only uh, fertility network around the country that owns and operates proprietary technology, yes. including our patient portal and Kind EMR. Interesting. So if a lot of employers will take the biggest insurers, you know, UNH, for instance, do they offer these kinds or do they cover these kinds of fertility uh, needs? Yeah, fertility is changing rapidly. I've been in the industry a dozen years and I can remember uh, my previous company was Progeny and um, employers would say, well, what is a fertility benefit? We don't have a fertility benefit. And I was like, well, how you build families is changing pretty dramatically. You're going to have a fertility benefit. So the difference is, you know, it's moved from a nice to have to a must have. So health insurance companies uh, historically had a rider and you could buy up a fertility benefit. It was typically a, a lifetime maximum of twenty-five dollars or $30,000, always on a fee-for-service basis. Um, at Kind Body, we think the fee-for-service model is dead in healthcare or should be dead. It's certainly dying if it's not dead. And you move to value-based bundled case rates so that the employer knows uh, exactly what they're paying for when they go into it. That makes sense. Is the cost of these con treatments, kinds of treatments, continuing to rise? We know, obviously, the demand for them is going up. Is there any sign on the horizon that they might become more affordable over time? They must become more affordable. It is a mission of Kind Body to bring down the cost of care. Uh, we do see uh, peers of ours in the space continuing to increase prices. I think what's driving that um, is some artificial inflation in pricing due to uh, supply and demand. Today, uh, demand for fertility treatment services is really outstripping supply of fertility doctors and fertility clinics. So it's propping up the price. Absent that supply-demand issue, prices really should start to moderate and over time come down. I don't want to ask if you have an AI angle here, but, you know, this is the Disruptor 50, and, and somehow I feel like maybe there's, there's some way in which this technology will be deployed. Yeah, of course we have an AI angle. Um, before we hired our first doctor, opened our first uh, clinic, uh, the first $6 million we raised in seed capital went to acquiring a proprietary EMR, an electronic medical record. Huh. Uh, in order to truly create change in healthcare, you must first start with technology. So we have our own, again, kind EMR, our patient portal. Uh, the first thing a patient does when they start treatment is they want to know their prognosis. What's my likelihood of success of taking home a baby? And so we have a tool, the patient enters their age, their pregnancy history, their weight, and other data markers, and we predict your likelihood of success with one cycle, with two cycles, with three cycles. Certainly the more eggs you have, the more cycles you go through, the greater your chance of likelihood to take home a baby. And then AI really is about more data in, the refinement of AI. So what we're doing now as we continue to build our AI solution is pulling in sperm morphology and more, uh, um, um, the sperm mobility and morphology. Um, and then what we'll do is put sperm and egg together and uh, be able to have a prognostication and tool uh, that really tells the patient what their embryo transfer and live birth treatment is going to be. I'm thinking about the people who turn it on in the middle of the segment are going, what are we yes. talking about? Sperm, <laughs> eggs, embryos, <laughs> would all you, about babies. Would you go into the broader health, in 10 seconds, go in the broader health space from here or kind of stay in this niche? We're in the broader health space today. Uh, everything from menarche to menopause. All right. I don't even know what that, I don't, so I don't even want to know what half of this stuff means. Gina, thank you so much for all the work you're doing and congratulations this year. Yeah, thanks, Kelly. Gina Bartesi of Kind Body on Disruptor 50.